Adolf Hitler's secret hideout? Secret alien bases and the entrance to the hollow interior of the Earth? In certain circles, Antarctica has long been suspected of being so much more than an endless expanse of ice. And that's true, but it doesn't always have to be so outlandish. For example, did you know that the frosty Antarctic is also the home to one of the largest volcanic fields on Earth? Or that the Gambersiv Mountains, a gigantic mountain range, lies dormant here, completely hidden under the ice? In fact, scientists have now managed to uncover many spectacular secrets of this inhospitable extreme world, and while even the Antarctic penguins resemble a waddling mystery, a fossil of a fully grown sea monster has even turned up here, which would make the heart of any Nessie fan beat faster. What do Europe and Australia have in common? That's right, both continents are significantly smaller than Antarctica. With an area of around 13.7 million square kilometers, the icy landmass at the South Pole is the fifth largest continent on Earth. And in theory, Germany would also fit into Antarctica almost 40 times. In contrast to our Federal Republic, however, we would search in vain for something like streets and cities there. The only human inhabitants of the Antarctic are the scientists at the research stations. However, this also raises a fundamental question. After all, what business do we have at the South Pole? Or, to put it another way, what insights can be gained here that the North Pole does not have to offer? The biggest difference between these two frosty worlds is that the North Pole is essentially just a colossal iceberg. While this area really is made of pure ice, a gigantic landmass lies hidden beneath the bitterly cold Antarctic mantle. But it is in the nature of things that the differences between the South Pole and the other continents are significant, to say the least. While temperatures in Western Antarctica scrape the zero degree mark in January, the warmest month, they are 55 degrees below freezing on an annual average. The so-called catabatic winds whip through the landscape at speeds of up to 300 kilometers per hour. At the same time, Antarctica is not only the coldest continent, but also the driest. Annual precipitation in central Antarctica is estimated at just 50 millimeters. It is therefore quite surprising that the barren ice desert is home to an astonishingly wide variety of species despite all this. In and around Antarctica, you can find various penguins, killer whales and humpback whales, seals, leopard seals, and oh yes, bacteria that can even eat disinfectant. About disinfectant eaters and invisible lakes. Remember when Donald Trump speculated during the coronavirus pandemic about whether the virus couldn't be tackled with disinfectant injections? Well, apparently quite a few microorganisms took the former US president at his word. In fact, researchers have now discovered that an acid-tolerant bacterium known from the Antarctic is capable of metabolizing ammonium ions, which are found in cleaning agents. Furthermore, this strain of Aremiobacterata also has genes for breaking down residual alcohol, which can be found in commercially available disinfectants. Since the microorganisms are now also widespread in urban areas, the research results show how amazingly the disinfectant-eating bacteria have already genetically adapted to the specific food supply of their urban environment. From a microbial point of view, the next wave of disease can come, and yet such unusual creatures are by no means the only secret of the eternal ice that appears invisible to the naked eye. As we now know, a gigantic network of hidden rivers and lakes also lies dormant under the mighty Antarctic ice sheet. In fact, it was only two years ago that experts detected a hidden stream here that, at 460 kilometers long, dwarfs even the Thames and drains in an area larger than Germany and France put together. In detail, however, the giant river joins a long list. After all, we already know of around 370 of these subglacial waters, of which Lake Vostok is by far the largest. In detail, the rippling colossus boasts an almost unbelievable length of 240 and a width of 50 kilometers, while at the same time it extends up to 1,200 meters in depth. However, since the freshwater lake is also located between 3,700 and 4,100 meters below the ice, any thought of the development of life seems to fizzle out immediately. 
No wonder, because after all, we are talking about a ruthless extreme world with an average water temperature of minus 3 degrees, an enormous pressure of 40 megapascals, and complete darkness. Well, and yet it seems that in the end, life always somehow finds a way. Surprisingly, studies of ice samples taken from a depth of over 3,600 meters have shown that Lake Vostok is not only home to living creatures, it is also home to an amazing variety of species. In fact, the ice samples taken from the lake water's accretion ice have revealed the genetic makeup of thousands of different organisms. The majority, 94%, of this comes from bacteria, followed by fungi. But beyond that, and this is the exciting part, the DNA of parasites was also found in the samples. And since these need a host to survive, scientists do not rule out the existence of animals such as worms, crabs, and even fish. In this regard, it is also interesting to know that the legend of the monster octopus of Lake Vostok has been circulating on the internet for some time. Given that Lake Vostok is probably one of the most untouched and pristine lakes in the world, a full-grown giant from prehistoric times is said to still lurk here, scientifically named Organism 46b. But that's not all. After its discovery, the eight-armed monster is said to have been captured and taken to a top-secret military base. For the sake of completeness, it should perhaps be mentioned at this point that the trail of this story leads straight back to Weekly World News, a magazine that provided its readers with headlines such as Elvis is Alive, Housewife Sees King in Supermarket, or Aliens Cured Me of Diabetes, and not least, I Am Having Bigfoot's Baby. This sea monster lived in the Antarctic. Another monster, similar discussion. Because Nessie also divides public opinion, those who believe that the myth surrounding the monster is just nonsense, and those who suspect that the creature actually exists. The latter faction argues that it is a plesiosaur in the flesh, a now extinct gargantuan reptile that roamed the world's oceans until the end of the Cretaceous period. The spectacular find, which the researchers recorded on a small remote island off the coast of the Antarctic Peninsula, shows just how fearsome the giants of prehistoric times really were. While the discovery represents one of the most complete reptile fossils ever found, the animal may have weighed 15 tons when alive. With this impressive weight, the specimen quickly became the heaviest known elasmosaurian in the world. While this representative of the plesiosaurs resembled an oversized sea cow with a giraffe neck and snake-like head, it had not two, but four fins, unlike real sea cows. And while sea cows grow to a maximum of four meters in length, the Antarctic specimen may have measured 12 meters from head to tail. What is the ecstasy of penguins all about? Let's be optimistic. During the Antarctic summer of 2013-2014, an American Antarctic researcher logged onto Tinder at the remote McMurdo station and of course got no matches. But when he expanded the search radius, he actually found a female researcher who also used the dating app and was only a 45-minute helicopter ride away. One match and one subsequent meeting later, however, the romance was already over, because one of the two lovebirds had to leave the next day, leaving his date alone on the internal ice. The reindeer guineas, on the other hand, do not have such problems finding a partner. Quite the opposite. While the waddling animals mainly live in the north and west of the Antarctic Peninsula, experts estimate that there are 7.5 million breeding pairs of them. However, in the same breath, the flightless birds also display behavior that has long puzzled researchers. During the breeding season, both males and females perform a strange ritual involving flapping their wings wildly, stretching their necks, and screeching loudly. In detail, they behave so bizarrely when they are waiting for their partner to relieve them of the task of caring for the chicks, and the latest observations show that the penguin ecstasy is apparently contagious and can spread like wildfire throughout the entire colony. However, the background to this peculiar behavior is not fully understood. The researchers' vague ideas suggest that it is a form of territorial behavior that occurs particularly when a penguin has to wait a long time for its better half. However, it is also conceivable that it serves as a form of communication between the pairs. The Fiery Secret of Antarctica 
A few years ago, geologists from the University of Edinburgh made an announcement that is bound to surprise you. Antarctica, that freezing cold continent, is home to a huge volcanic field. With at least 138 individual volcanoes, it is actually one of the largest on Earth. While some of the fire mountains are located several kilometers below the ice, their height varies considerably. The smallest volcanic elevations are only 100 meters high, but the largest reach 3,850 meters. In total, the blazing field covers an area of 3,500 square kilometers. That's about four times larger than Berlin. Before the discovery, experts assumed that there were 47 volcanoes in West Antarctica, most of which are visible on the surface. However, since they suspected that there were more volcanoes hidden away, they used an ice-penetrating radar. The collected data was then compared with satellite and aerial images and revealed 91 unknown volcanoes. Once the existence of the structures had been revealed, a burning question needed to be answered. How active are the Antarctic volcanoes? Unfortunately, we still lack the necessary data to answer this question. However, since a timely eruption cannot be ruled out, experts insist on intensifying seismic monitoring in Antarctica. Because, in theory, it is possible that climate change will accelerate the eruption process again. If the ice sheet at the South Pole continues to thin, volcanic activity could increase. This is not an unknown phenomenon. Comparable effects have already been observed in Iceland and Alaska. Once set in motion, this process would fuel a vicious cycle in which the melting process makes the ice sheet even more unstable, paving the way for further volcanic eruptions. We'd rather pave the way for more Abu outbursts. Click on the thumb now and on subscribe to never miss a video of us again. See you soon.